Hey guys, we're doing a battery in a Tag Heuer watch. This is a professional 200 meters. I'm going to zoom in to show you. And it has a screwing crown. And it has a extension built inside which you can move from one, two, three, these three spots. So you can always adjust it to. Uh, we're going to do a battery change on this. I'm going to show you. Let me just zoom out. Okay, so we'll undo the band first to get better access. Uh, you could also remove one of these links. You will see that there is, let me zoom in again, that the band has these arrows pointing up. That means you can push the pin out from here on to this side and remove it completely. We could do that too or you could just do you could do the band from here too so you could just pop the pins out from here so I'm going to show you how to easily do it because I do get a lot of comments about how this is more difficult for people to do so I'm just gonna show you how to do this although if you lose this pin because it pops out with pressure so if you lose this pin you would end up having to order it again so at least with this one you know it doesn't really pop you just have to pull it out with a plier or something so let's just show you how to do this one and in my next videos I'll show you how to do it regularly with this so I will take a pin remover like a needle something like this very thin right I'm gonna pop it in here right in here and I'm gonna pop the pin out so once I push it in it's just gonna be easy to remove All right, got it out. Okay, sometimes it will just pop, so you can just remove it just like that. All right, so once you have that, it basically shows you Swiss made sapphire crystal, water resistant 200 meters, and stainless steel. So you can use one of these tools. I'll zoom out again. So this is the right tool for it. Uh, a lot of people ask me where you can find this tool you can find it anywhere just look for a watch wrench opener or watch case opener and you will see different different types of them like there's one of these you can always find another one this one and then you can also use smaller ones I have I use a bunch of them you can find these if you want these are easier to maneuver if not these and there is another one I don't have that tool on me here but uh, it's similar to this but this is much you have more control with this one so I'm going to show you how to do this one place the both both sides and tighten it once you've done that so place the, the, the wrench right on top and tighten it and then when you hold it anti-clockwise push it and it will open up so most of the time it's if you're doing it for the first time it's going to be extremely hard for you to do it because it's never been opened before the seals pretty tight but if the battery has been changed a couple of times it should be very easy okay so now I'm gonna zoom in again to show you the machine okay so now this is a 395 battery it's a Swiss battery and I think they use if I can't figure out right now I will definitely add that to the description and I think it's a Swiss movement as well I'm not sure exactly but I'll, I'll put it in the description so you could just pull the battery out you could use one of these I have a flat screwdriver I'm just gonna pry it open from the bottom just like that slightly gently all right a lot of times uh, when you remove the battery if there is a um, if there's a small screw that's holding the battery down you have to make sure that you could just slide the screw out of the way instead of removing it completely but then again you would require some sort of skill for that 
it won't be easy to do if you remove the screw it pops up and you will lose the screw so if there's like a metal bar that's holding it down make sure that you just slide this the slide the tab out don't remove the screw completely so I'm gonna use a 395 I'm gonna grab one of these this is a 395 I'm using. I'm gonna place it right in there. Just like that, just hold the battery down, push it, that's it. There's not much to it. And just to make sure it's running, push it in and it starts running right away. So that's good. All right. Place the back right on top, just like this, right? Start screwing the back on without using the tool at first. Do it with your thumbs as much as you can. And once you can't do it anymore, you can use the tool right after. So hold it firm, spin it on just like that. Okay. Once that's done, remember this pin that we had? This pin. So now place this pin and try to do this on a flat surface because it will be much easier to do and you won't lose anything. So I'm going to place this pin right in this, the hole right here, and I'm going to hold it down just like this. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to, with this finger, I'm going to hold onto the pin uh, right on top. I'm gonna hold it tight so it doesn't it doesn't come out from the other side and I'm gonna place it on that first hole over there right just like that I just placed it I didn't push it in yet so after I'm done it's sitting on that first hole right then I'm gonna hold it from here just like that hold it tight then use if you have a flat knife you can use this knife right here I have this as a watch opener and I'm gonna use this to slide it down from the first ring that right there I'm gonna place it down and it slides in because I'm also holding it with this thumb so and then move it and it pops right in and that's how you're supposed to do it this one has a screw and crown sorry about that kid screaming um, set the right time and with one click out you can set the date all right okay. and then when you pull it all the way out it's gonna change the time one click one click from here is gonna just change the date you can change the date all the way out pull it all the way out that's gonna change the time so that's how you're gonna do it and this is a screw and crown so once you're done if it's sticking out there's gap in between push and screw at the same time while you're pushing it in screw it on tight and now you can take it in the water but if it's all the way out you won't be able to do that because the water will seep in through so make sure that's all the way in and tight and secure and that's will be it for the video thank you so much